Dear students, in this video, we'll talk about the thin capitalization rule. So this is related to advanced taxation issue. And uh, one important thing is that if a company use excessive uh, borrowing, that is debt financing, in order to get the maximum tax benefit, there is a restriction by tax authority against the excessive use of borrowing, and that is called thin capitalization rule. So the thin capitalization rule's aim is to stop UK companies from getting excessive tax relief on interest. And this occurs due to they will receive the loan from a related party that exceed the loan an independent lender would be prepared to lend. Usually it happens that bank would be reluctant or lender would be reluctant if you are asking for an excessive level of borrowing. But if a related party is giving you an excessive loan, then tax authority will check this. So factors determining thin capitalization. First of all, look at the gearing ratio. This is the relationship between debt to equity finance in the UK. This is usually around 50 50. A higher proportion of debt could cause thin capitalization problem. That means the debt level must be uh, in the threshold of 50 50. And as far as interest cover is concerned, the, this is the ratio of uh, earning before tax and interest on loan formula is PBIT divided by interest. It measures how risky the loan is for the lender and many commercial lender will look, look for a ratio of around three. Now, thin capitalization rule ensures that interest on the part of the loan that an independent third party would be prepared to lend the company is allowable. So it means if you are getting 70% loan or 80% loan or 90% loan, but if an independent party is not providing you maximum 50 or 40, then tax authority will see your position as an independent uh, loan. If you are getting more than that, the excess is disallowed. And the borrowing capacity of the individual company and its subsidiaries is considered, but not the rest of the group. So for example, you get loan of 60% from your subsidiary but your capacity as an as loan from an independent party is only 40 percent so interest on excess loan is disallowed and you will not able to get tax benefit against the excess interest on excess loan